All right, welcome everyone to this uh, next video here in our channel. In this video, what we're gonna be looking at is how we can get Suricata data to help enrich the data that Archimy is already generating, it's already capturing. So as an example, you can see we've got one TCP session here. If we expand that, we now have a, a new section, which is the Suricata section. And this is gonna have information predominantly from the alerts that Suricata is generating, such as the, the message from the alert, the signature as you see here, different, uh, different data aspects as well, category flow, severity, signature ID. Of course, the great thing with this is that now we have the alert data from Suricata. We can, you can use that in order to now um, search and, and filter in your Archimy instance. So it adds another data point that can really make an already powerful set of tools even more powerful. So that's what we're after today. Okay, what you need to get started then, um, I'm gonna assume that you already have Suricata installed as well as Archimy installed. We're gonna talk real briefly about any changes or at least the necessary changes that we'll need to make, but those both need to be installed. Um, there are videos already on our channel that should cover some of that. Both projects, though, also have really good documentation. So if you haven't installed either one, you can certainly consult both projects' documentation and they'll get you up and running with your installation quite quickly. Now, the first thing that we need to decide is what interface we want both Suricata and Archimy to monitor. Running IPA allows you to see all the interfaces on your system. For this particular system, I have three the loopback, ENS33, and then dummy zero. So what I've done for this particular demonstration is to create a script that creates a dummy interface. That way I can have both Archimy and um, Suricata monitoring that interface and not getting any other traffic from the system. The reason I'm doing that is because I'm gonna be relying on PCAPs. And with PCAPs, if we just use the ability to capture or to replay the PCAP directly, both Archimy and Suricata can do that um, then it takes the timestamp from that original, whenever that PCAP was originally captured. So if it was six months ago, all the timestamps are from six months ago. Not a big deal, but we can, by using a dummy interface, we can actually use TCP replay to replay the traffic and then making it look like it's been captured in real time. It'll have timestamps from when you actually replayed it. So that's the route we're gonna go. Um, depending on your setup though, you know, you just have to ensure that you're picking the right network interface name and configuring that for both tools so that they're monitoring the right interface. If you're interested in this script, you'll be able to find it on the OISF Suricata GitHub as a gist. So I'll point you there if you'd like to, to run this script on your system to create this dummy interface. Okay, um, now that we have the interface up, what we can do is we can take a look at the uh, primary configuration file for Suricata. So you'll find this under Etsy Suricata, suricata.yaml. That's the default location. I've already been in the file, so you'll see that um, it's opened me up to where I left off, which was under the AF-packet section. And here we have one property that we need to possibly change, which is the interface. So I made the modification with Suricata so that it's listening to the dummy zero interface, which we just discussed. If you're not creating the dummy interface, you just need to make sure that you use whatever name of the interface that you want both Suricata and Archimy to monitor. Okay, as for Archimy, we'll find the configuration under opt Archimy Etsy config.ini. And we just need to go down to here. Oh, no, too far. There it is. So again, uh, interface option, interface equals dummy zero, the name of our interface. So that's all set up and already configured. Okay, before we leave the um, configuration file here for Archimy, the, the next step is to enable Suricata. And Suricata is considered a plugin. So there are other plugins that are available. Uh, again, I'd point you to the documentation to check those out. All we need to ensure that we have is a line that says plugins equals and then our plugin name, Suricata.so. Uh, so it's got to be uncommented. That means there's no leading hashtag in front of it. If you had multiple plugins that you wanted to enable, you could simply provide a comma separated list of those plugin names. Each plugin might have some additional configuration options. For example, Suricata needs to have a Suricata alert file property, and that has to define the location of the eve.json file. Now, in case you're not familiar with Suricata, Suricata's primary log location is var log Suricata, and its primary log file is the eve.json. So if for some reason your Suricata is configured to not use this location, then you need to make sure that it matches. If you're not sure, you can check your Suricata configuration file, that, that Suricata.yaml file, 
look for the section of the YAML that defines the output, and then there'll be a path or a location that it defines there. Okay, with these two files, or I mean with these two properties here in this configuration file, Archimy is all ready to go. Okay, so now we have to check the service status, and I'll use systemctl to do that. We'll just use a status command. Suricata is the first service. It's going to be running and listening on the interface that we configured it to. For, so for this demonstration, our dummy interface. We also then have two services for Archimy. We have the viewer service, which is the UI that we started this demonstration off with. And then we have the capture service. Okay, and the capture service is what's going to listen to the interface that, that Archimy is configured to monitor and generate the data that it does in Elastic and other parts of the framework so that when you open up the UI, you can investigate the traffic. Now, um, we can see what the status is. All of these are active, active and running. If you made any changes since they started, particularly to those configuration files, then you do need to restart the services. So in this case, we could just swap out the status command with a restart, and that would restart those services for us. So any configuration changes necessitates a, ch a restart of those service. I didn't make any changes. As you saw, all of those configs were already there because I wanted to make sure they were working before I recorded this video. Okay, next step is to replay our PCAP, right? We've got uh, Suricata configured to monitor our dummy interface. We have Archimy capture service configured to monitor that dummy interface. Plus we have the Suricata plugin enabled. So I said, we're gonna replay traffic to that dummy interface. And we're gonna do that through our PCAPs. So here you can see it's a, it's a basic script. This will also be available on the OISF uh, Suricata GitHub as a gist. And the main part here is the replay PCAP. So the beginning of the file just checks to make sure we provided a PCAP. We, we, we likely need root privileges here, I believe to replay the PCAP. I don't quite remember now, um, but it does check for that. So you could experiment with that a little bit. You have a section here that I, in this demonstration, I've commented out that says clean up Suri logs. So if you wanted to delete the Suricata data every time you ran a PCAP, you could do this. Um, that And that simply is just echoing an empty string to overwrite or, or into the eve.json file. Okay, at the core of the script though is the TCP replay command. So we are defining the dummy interface with dash I and then $1 just represents the argument to the bash script, which is the location of the PCAP file that we fed into it. The last little bit there is just using um, grep and JQ to look at the output from the eve.json file and printing any alerts to the console, which we don't necessarily need that because now we'll be able to look for Suricata alerts inside of Archimy. Okay, so run the script. We'll invoke it from the current directory, provide a, uh, a sudo to give it administrative privileges, and then the path to our pcap file. So in this case, I have a pcap file here just in the same directory. Now, when it comes to replaying the pcap using TCP replay, there are actually some speed settings. So if you do not define that speed setting as an argument, then it's going to replay that pcap at the original speed in which it was captured. So if you have a 30 minute capture, it's gonna take 30 minutes to replay. If you speed that up, the only thing I've noticed is that sometimes it can kind of distort the data a little bit because everything's happening so quickly. So it might be something for you to experiment with. A lot of times when I'm when I'm just looking at PCAPs, it's because I've grabbed something possibly from a malware sandbox. And so it's only a two, three, five minute PCAP anyway, and it doesn't, you know, it, it's not necessarily, timing is not something I'm necessarily too worried about. As you can see here, we have now several alerts that were generated. So the script ran, um, replayed the PCAP, and then it looked in that eve.json file. So this really confirms that Suricata is monitoring the dummy interface. The next step is to look at the UI and see if Archimy also captured this data. Okay, so back to Archimy. I've cleared all of the filters, and you can see that using the time filter for the last hour, we now have traffic that replayed just within the last minute or so. You know, again, because we replayed that from the PCAP. So it, it kind of you know, absolves us from having to worry about when that PCAP was originally captured. Plus, it's not then picking up data from, in this instance, in this machine, the primary network interface. So I don't have to worry about the normal noise that's going over that interface. I'm really just focused to that traffic that was replayed over that dummy interface. Once we have started capturing Suricata data because we've enabled that plugin, there are a number of properties that are available. So 
uh, if you're familiar with Archimy, you can just start typing and you'll get the, the drop down that'll help you sort of the, the, you know, the preview of all of the fields that are available. So you now have the ability to filter off of any of these Suricata fields. Uh, the command that I just used, this comes directly from the Archimede documentation, and all this is saying is, it says, if a signature exists on a session, then display it here. Okay, so from that particular PCAP, it, it appears that we have alerts that were generated. They only apply to this one session. We can expand that, and you'll see very similar to how I started off this demonstration. Now we have a number of alerts. Each one of these alerts applies to this particular session, and you can now use that extra Suricata data to filter your traffic in Archimy. That's all I have for this video. I hope you enjoyed and are ready to take your Archimy and Suricata usage to the next level. If you have any comments, please feel free to, to drop them below. We always are looking for feedback on the video and, and certainly willing to help. Uh, until then, I'll talk to you all here in a future video.